guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing something weird. Yet again, this is another Ally's makeup adventure thing. So a few weeks ago, I think it was last week, I posted a video about using lip powder or blush as eyeshadow. And then Vanessa was like, well, why don't you use a blush for eyeshadow and cheek and lip color and do the whole look with the blush. So I was like, okay, I can do that. So that is what we're doing today. We are using a single blush and using that as much as we can to do eye color, cheek, and a lip. Obviously, I used some other colors and pigments to, you know, make sure everything kind of worked cohesively. But that's what we're doing today. So before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. And let's just like go ahead and jump right into this look and see how I created it. Okay guys, let's get started. I've already primed my face, filled in my brows. I went ahead and primed my eyes with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm hoping the white will make the orange pop even more. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just starting off by taking just the flat brush and just packing some of this color on my lid. And I'm taking a clean fluffy blending brush and just sweeping that back and forth. I feel like off the bat, this is turning pink again. Like remember when I tried that lip powder duo? I'll put that in somewhere up here. But I feel like that also turned really pink. Like if I compare it like this, doesn't my eye look more pink? I don't know. Okay, let's keep playing. I was hoping this would turn like orange, like a tangerine or something. But this is not exactly what it's giving me. Do you ever have one of those moments when you're doing your makeup and you have no idea where it's going or what you're going to do? This is that moment for me. I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. This is not turning out how I wanted it to. I'm just gonna keep blending and maybe it'll turn into something. Maybe if I just keep blending it, it'll like transform into something or maybe I'll get inspiration to do something. Okay. I feel like the Lip Powder Duo was more like fluorescent pink. And this is like, I don't know, it's really just, it's really not as orange as I was like, I thought it was gonna be like, bam, like orange like this. And I used a white base, I don't know. Sorry guys, ventures in makeup. Maybe if I had like an eyeliner or even a lip liner that was the exact same shade as this and I used that as a base, that would help. I'm just gonna keep blending. Okay, um, I guess I will use a tapered brush and put some of this color on the bottom lashes. Seems appropriate. Okay, now this looks more orange. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if my phone will pick up on this. What's that about? Maybe I just need to pack it on instead of blending it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. We made it this far. Let's just keep going. When you order it online versus when it gets here in person. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go into eyeliner. Maybe once I do everything else, it'll look more normal. I hope. I think what I'll do for the bottom waterline is go into a white eyeliner. I don't know. I really haven't. I still don't really know where this look is going, so I'm hoping it starts to turn into something soon. I think I'm gonna go with a brown eyeliner. Yeah, I can do this, I can do this. I'm gonna take this brown eyeliner, this is from Izueti, it's a waterproof liner, it's called Black Brown, so I'm going to use this to do like a thin line on the top and maybe just like a little bit under the lashes on the bottom as well. So before I continue with more liner, I think I'm gonna add like maybe some shimmer, I don't know. I feel like if I just throw some glitter on there, it'll be fine, right? I'm gonna go into this Makeup Geek shade called Firecracker. I'm just gonna use my finger. It's a look, I don't know. And a little bit of blending. All right, let's keep going with eyeliner. Okay, let's put some mascara on. Okay, let's uh, move on to foundation. Okay, so now I am going to go into the blush as blush. And I just remembered this is like super pigmented, so this is probably like way too much. Okay. Ooh, okay. Not so bad, turned out fine. I'm gonna finish it off with some highlight. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlight and put it on the inner corner here. 
Okay, so for the last part of this look, we're going to go back into the blush and use this as a lip color. So I'm going to go ahead and use my finger and just pat some of this on. I really should have exfoliated before doing this. I'm going to go ahead and use this Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in the color Melon just to make sure that my lips look defined and not like all over the place. I think I'll add a little bit of gloss just to get some moisture onto these chapped lips. I'm gonna go into this Dior Lip Maximizer lip gloss. It's like the closest thing that I have to a clear lip gloss. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I think this came out well. I mean, I was really worried at certain points, but I think overall there's some cohesiveness. I really like this color um, as a lip color, but I really thought that the blush would turn out like more like this than like this. I'm not sure why, I'm not sure if there's a different pH on my eyelids and my lips, or what is it, but I mean it turned out nice, not exactly what I wanted it to, and I was definitely worried for a few minutes, but it turned out okay. So thank you guys so much for uh, coming along with me on another weird makeup adventure. Thank you, Vanessa, for challenging me to do this. If you guys uh, want to do this challenge of using a blush as your eyeshadow blush and lip color, I challenge you to do it. It's fun, I think. I don't know. It's a bit worrisome at times, but I, over, like once the whole makeup look is done, it's fine. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I always appreciate you guys watching my videos. So in a few weeks, I will be in San Francisco with my husband. So when I'm there, I'm thinking of maybe visiting Benefit Cosmetics because that's where the headquarters are and also Bare Minerals, Bare Essentials. Like they originated from San Francisco. So while I'm there, I might as well just like go to like their flagship stores kind of and just like test out their products. If you guys have any products you want me to try out from Benefit Cosmetics or Bare Minerals, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you live in San Francisco, let me know. We can meet up. So I think that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have an amazing Monday and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Oh, before we go, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know when I post a new video. Okay, phew, there we go. That's it. All right, so I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.